Everybody, thank you for joining us at Bridgeworks. I'm Wax Mannequin. This is Hannah Beck. This is Cooper Hannison and Joel Banks. And we're going to play some songs for you. I don't know, some other things happen too usually when, when, when we play music. So who knows what's going on tonight. But it feels really good to be together with these friends making music. Stick with us, spread the word, and uh, get together as far apart as we can be. That was uh, the, the obelisk. It's about the future. But I'm, I'm glad we just made it through something. We made it through that 
that day, that dread day. You remember that? I don't, I don't even need to mention that day when we woke up. Those of us gathered here woke up and found that there was a new blood type, right? <laughs> and so much of the world had this blood type. They called it blood type gold, right? Because when it spilled, it was thick uh, as honey and shining like mercury, but bright gold, blood type gold is what they called it. And I'm glad I didn't get it. Aren't you glad that you kept your blood red and pure like us here on stage? You know, they stopped the wars because those with the blood type gold, well, they stopped fighting and just kind of laid down their weapons and chose to die. And that sticky gold blood covered the battlefield and mingled with pure red blood. It was an outrage and it was a sickness. We're past all that. Thank goodness. This one's called The Things to Do with Rage. Right? It's an old one, but I'm, we figured it out again. There's a lot you can do with rage. There's a lot you can do with Rage. Take it, make it like a game A small puzzle or toy train With an engineer's gut Breezy eyes all glowing
can build a small machine You can build a factory Two I was careful to keep my, my loved ones away from the blood type gold. Mostly kept them inside. My child would play in the park. And some of those, those people in the park, well, I wasn't sure. I could never be sure if they had the, the right type of blood, the red blood. Okay? Because you know there was, there were a few signs of a gold blood type, but you could tell in the eyes, of course, if you really got to know someone. <laughs> you could see flecks of gold. But that's, that's what the only sign, uh, sign short of, of cutting someone, and who wants to do that? But those, those with the blood type gold sure were inquisitive, weren't they? They'd come right up to you. That was kind of another sign, too, just how interested they were in your doings and mine and the way we spoke, the way we communicated. It's almost as if that golden blood type was... was, was kinda, it kind of makes them want to figure things out. I mean... We know it was a, 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 a blight, we know it was an illness, but those with the, this, this illness would swear it was a gift. And that was part of the problem. If you caught the blood type, if you got the gold blood, you'd think you were gifted, of course. And sure, there was a certain uh, a sleight of hand and a sleight of gaze that those with the golden blood type would would give, as though they were watching every interaction, every sound we'd make, not judging, but noticing and s silently guiding our every action when they were here in this room. Thank goodness they're not. I kept my child away from those with the golden blood type, because you know, they formed that council and found a way to share their gift with the rest of us. Such an awful gift. Of course, they found, as you know, that if they slice between their fingers and ours, when we put our hands together like that, any red-blooded among us could have become one of those with gold and blood. Given a week or two, your red blood would turn thick, like mercury, and shining like the sun, and light as the air. This was new called, uh, this was called Even Then. Weird time for now, I can't imagine how There's a time when we won't be Ooh, some work you've heard, some all of what I've seen No one tells all it could be Even then Even then 
a call to you know, be one of us. It's kind of a it's a kind of a song where you join in. I mean, you can sing it if you join the words, or you can just be uh, one of us. Right? That's what it's all about. One day, all my friends and I are gonna get you down. And I, we're gonna take you down, we'll take you over. One day, all of my friends and I, I hold you tight to my chest. I saw you in the dirt, I saw you on the telescreen. I got to hustle down on everybody that you've been. You haven't got, haven't got much, but you got what I ain't figured out just yet. It was a strange day indeed. I don't know if many of you had a similar experience. I mean, we've all had those, those close to us come down with that sickness, come home with that golden blood. And we all, we all have to manage this in our own way, right? We all have to decide how we're going to move forward. How we're going to let people down easily or hard. Let them go. Let them go. My own child came home one day after school. I was working in my garage and they came right up to me. I felt that tug on my arm sleeve, and I looked down at my sweet child, looking me in the eye, a little too close, if you know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. You've all seen it. That gaze, that inquisitive, wondering gaze. A look that wants to know just a little too much. <laughs> yes, my own child had those flecks in their iris, flecks of gold. 
Papa, they say, Papa, I have the blood type gold. I know you'll send me away. It took me back when they said, I know you'll send me away. They seemed okay with it. As they do, those of the golden blood type <laughs> seem okay with everything. The experiments that the, the, the body, the governing bodies would do, didn't they submit themselves willingly? They would line up as if they had no, no value for their own life. They would line up willingly until they formed their own council, so wise to inflict the rest of us. By choice, of course, by choice. It was never forced. It was our decision, your decision, mine. Well, I know what decision you made. You're here with me now. I know you've got the red blood type and they're gone. We're safe. We can speak and sing. We can sing for the red blood, right? This is, a, this is called Not the Worst. Not the Worst Yet. I want to introduce the band, though. Hannah Beck's going to start us off. This is Hannah Beck. I think I said this is, this is Cooper Hannison. No relation. No relation. And, and Joel Banks. Uh, and thank you for the brickworks and everyone, bridgeworks, I'm sorry, and everyone here. It's such an amazing space and it feels uh, like no time has passed. Being up here playing music again is a, a strange treat, dreamlike uh, experience for all of us. So it's fun that this could come together. This was called uh, Not the Worst It Gets. And I think Hannah Beck is going to start, start it off. Isn't that right? <laughs> Thank you. 
not the worst it gets Quietly you've been calling it Not the worst it gets So long for giving moral debt When the white moon circles round With the implied or imagined sound Echoes every form Notice this Uh, wondering to myself where they all went. We know they left just as suddenly, what was it, half of us? Two thirds? I wouldn't say us, was it? Not us, of course. We've got the red blood type, but of the people, those we remember, those we lost, so many. So many on that one day all had the blight, that curse, that golden blood type. <laughs> and as, just as quickly as it came, they were gone. What brought it on? Was it something in the wind? Maybe it was, it was all that screen time or the, or the moving and the gyrating in the clubs. Some smooth inquisition, the questioning of life's mysteries. Well, they're gone now and we can carry on. In peace, we remember and honor who they were before they became sick with gold and blood. That's what it's called. Someone fixed the game. Someone fixed the game for me. Someone fixed the game for me. <laughs> Go in 140 on the 401. Cop lights flashed me down outside of Kingston. The policeman said, son, I'm just like you. Try to ease up and pass on through. I'm shifty in the customs line. My suitcase full of shitty Dutch wine. She hears the bottles rattle and clink. Waves me right through with the knowing wink. Tossed to the clink When I sneak by to frolic and drink Some say 
to my neck and through to my skin. Keep your head down, everything's fine. Don't worry about yours, I got what's mine. You see the auctioneer, he's manning the raft. He's calling out the oars and the mast. If I can bid the other guy down, I will sail home. they came, they left as quickly and inexplicably. We recently woke, didn't we, to find that those of the blood type gold had thankfully gone away. <laughs> They're gone away. They're gone now. And my child with them. But we're here, we're free, and we've got red blood. We're here, we're free, and we've got red blood. It's time to move on. And nobody knows for sure where they've gone. <laughs> many of the experts, many of these scientists say, and of course these are the same scientists who couldn't protect us from this scourge in the first place. Many of these same scientists say <laughs> that they went up, right? That their golden blood was somehow so reflective and it reflected so much light that it made them light, lighter than air and they rose up and away one night while we slept. Think of that, everybody. No, uh, and still others say, of course, you know the sto how the story goes that those of the red blood type, the blood type red, went down under the ground. Okay, and their metallic blood joined with the golden rivers. We all know there's molten rivers of gold underground, and that golden core of the earth. Some say those of the golden blood type joined those underground rivers and found a way to the center. Maybe. You want to know what I think? You don't have to agree with me, but I think those, those with the blood type, with that new blood type, that golden blood, I think they didn't go up, they didn't go down, they turned inwards. They went inwards. What do I mean by that? You know how they would question us and interject themselves into our doings, our conversations. They had a deep interest in the workings of a world. They formed that council all by themselves. They investigated the deep deep workings, well, those little dots, those little, uh, the machinery that makes up all of this whole thing, the very substrate, they got so interested in that substrate, didn't they? Always mentioning it haphazardly. What of that substrate? Those pieces of which were all built. Well, I think those are the blood type 
the gold and blood type, found a way into the very small things around us. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but maybe they found a way to interact with the material that makes all of this work. I think they're there right now. I think they're here. Just changing things subtly, subtly, imperceptibly. Making those molecules, those atoms, those bits and pieces all speak their language. Changing what we think, what we believe, and what we do. Now, I'm not here to make you uncomfortable, but that's my opinion. That's my personal belief. And you're allowed to yours. You're allowed to have your opinion. That's mine. And why I think they went. What do you think? Maybe you agree with me. Maybe you agree with me. I can feel them. I can feel my child. Changing the way we speak. Changing the way we speak. This one's called, this one's all about a kid in the classroom who has trouble, you know, talking the way they are wanted to in the classroom. Uh, and while they can find within themselves the wherewithal to do is wave their arms around, right? Maybe play with, uh, and make some noises that kind of reflect back at all of us, the sounds that we make. That's in the classroom. But in the basement, underground, in the cellar, well... This child is kind of where they belong. They got all the materials they need, the wires and the machines and uh, the metal scraps they can build, build stuff. They've got, there's nothing wrong there, okay? This, is, this song's called Wrong About You, right?
Thank you very much. I think we're going to do boring now, right? Uh, we have two more songs for you. This has been uh, an ethereal treat for me, and hopefully uh, everyone on stage had a fun time, too, and everyone here at Bridgeworks, I want to thank you, Max and Brian and Adam and Clint and Trent and everyone, Tim, everyone involved, and the Hamilton Arts Council for making this all happen. Uh, it feels like a show, and uh, I don't want to wake up. So we've got two more songs, and then, uh, and then we're going to have to wake up. But it's been a slice, and I hope, hope to see you soon. I do this uh, once a week on Friday nights. I mean, not with the band thing, but maybe we'll find a way if you uh, check out my Instagram feed or all of, our, all of my friends here have, uh, have the socials if you want to subscribe and like or whatever you do these days. Uh, I, I do a weekly thing, so I hope you tune in. Otherwise, drop a line, and maybe we'll meet on the street. I'm Wax Mannequin. This is Hannah Beck. This is Cooper Hannison and Joel Banks. We got two more songs. Thank you. It's a sing along song. You can sing along at home if you know the words. There's only one word you need to know, and that's the word boring. So put me now, boring. Sing it with me now. My sneaky, sneaky space to yours. Boring. In your sneaky place. Boring. 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 Some say that if you slip between the cracks, they'll fall forever down with no way back. That's what you'll do. But I say that there's a controversial something down here, it's an awful lot more interesting. Ooh, more interesting. Once was a fellow walked a well-worn path, safe from the scoundrels of the ragged class. But the toll on rent seeking coal left him indebted. Nothing but his dreams and things regretted. in arts and met a trust fund boy. She waited on him with a ticket hunger. Ooh, walking on to kissing someone younger.
We all have short attention spans now, so I'm ready to move on. We got one more song for you. I hope we're gonna. Put, I'm gonna put this one out soon. There's a video that my friend Jesse Ewells made, uh, and all a dear friend of mine, very talented animator and video videographer, visually oriented individual. It's gonna come out soon. This is a we're gonna be a single, I think, if you can still put the singles out. How do you do music? How do you put music out? How do you put music out? I release, I put, the, I put my music in candles, and then I give you a candle that you gotta burn with the music inside. Or you can find it for free somewhere, I'm sure. Well, that's fine, I will never know. Do what you, what, do what you need to do. But uh, get out and hear some music. I think it's gonna happen again soon. This one's called Keep a Foot in the Door. You gotta keep a foot in the door. Here we go. Stay strange. Hope to see you soon.